It's time to send your first cut job using Flexi or a Vinyl Express's LXI, both available from SignWarehouse.com. When your software is successfully downloaded and installed from SAI Cloud, you should find two new icons added to your desktop. Production Manager is the translator between your design program and your cutter. It's where you designate when, where, and how you want to send your job to the cutter. We'll use Production Manager in a moment, but first, let's click the other icon to open our LXI design software. Now, this is LXI Master Plus. Your icon may look a little different depending on what software and tier level you're using. If the computer is online, you'll probably get this update notice when opening your program, but you don't have to accept every update. In fact, if you have a job to do, you probably want to click No just to avoid any surprises that may delay your work. Now before I do anything else, I want to clear up some space on this desktop. And you'll notice these applications to the right are specific to LXI Cloud. I really don't need them, so I'm going to come up to this top toolbar and click the Cloud icon to get rid of them. That's better. So to get started, we can import a vector image from our desktop, picture folders, image gallery, or wherever you're keeping the desired image. The key is to make sure it is a vector image as opposed to a raster image. Look for a link on this page for our No Cuttable Objects video to learn the difference between vector and raster. Notice I have this preview option checked. That way if I don't know the exact name of my file, I can still know it when I see it. And I think this little guy is kind of cool, so I'll hit import and the image will be added to wherever I click on my canvas. Along with allowing you to import images, the LXI and Flexi programs host a number of tools that enable users to create original text and designs. So I want to add this rectangle here to use as a frame. And I'll also add some text. Be sure to find time to explore the toolbar and learn all the tools that are available to you. But remember that the software's higher tier levels have more tools and capabilities than lower tiers. So for instance, an entry level apprentice won't have all of the options of say, Master Plus, which we're using today. Now when you're designing an LXI, you want to utilize Design Central. It's the key to customizing with precision. If its window is not already on your screen, just come back here to the top toolbar and click this icon here. And the Design Central window opens here to the right. Now I'm going to drag it closer to my design. Notice every time I select a different tool here in the toolbar, Design Central changes and offers a new set of unique options. So I'm using Design Central to adjust this frame. We'll give it rounded corners and a smaller border. And then just play with the size and position a little bit. We'll move this here and let's drag this over here. I like that. I also want to change my text, so let's move it right of center and make it two lines instead of one. In fact, I'm going to go to my text options and click Break Apart. That now allows me to select and adjust the words separately. So I'm going to make Sign a little bigger. And I'm not really loving this font, so let's change it in Design Central. Now I probably should have done this before I broke these apart, but I can still select the first line and just change that font as well. Since these two words are in the same line, they're still connected, so I'm going to break them apart from each other. Now let's size up the second word and reposition it. And let's move this here. I still want the word sign to be prominent. So I'm going to break the word apart so I can manipulate the letters individually. Let's make the S a little bigger. And I can't decide how big or close I want this guy. You know, like any design, there's a little bit of trial and error and adjustment throughout. You just have to play with it for a while. Part of me wants to add an exclamation point after sign, but I'm not going to. I'll just tighten up the proportions a little.
Okay, it looks good. Now I want to make sure the overall size is big enough, but not too big. So I use the ruler over here on the left to see how tall the image is. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about that. More so, I'm watching the top ruler. And I'm scaling up to just under 16 inches wide. There we go. All right, we're happy with that design and sizing. Let's go ahead and save our design. Sure, we could send an untitled job to the cutter, but it is a heartbreaker to have the computer crash or get some type of error that causes us to lose our work. So, better safe than sorry. And I'm just saving to my desktop. Now that we've saved, we can send to the cutter a few ways. You can look within the file category on your menu and go to cut plot. But actually, it's easier to just come up to this cut plot icon here. You can also do this with Control L on your keyboard. All of these will launch the cut plot screen and production manager. Now you should have already set up your production manager to reflect the model you're using. So when production manager comes up, make sure that the setup you want to use has a check mark by it. I'm going to use this R31 at COM5. By the way, if I were to run into a communication problem like a cannot open port error, I would just right click on this setup and choose change port. Then I can choose whichever port is designated in Device Manager. But for today, I know COM5 is right, so I'm just going to cancel. I want to also point out that I do have another cutter hooked up to this computer. And right now there is a check mark by it as well, showing that it is an active setup. And that's okay. I'm going to leave it checked because now we're going to look at the cut plot screen. So I'm minimizing Production Manager. And I'm now at the cut plot screen where I want to look at the setup list at the top. This is where we learn where we're sending the job. So we make sure we're sending to the R31. And I'm leaving my material at default since I know its dimensions are big enough. Here we can position where we want the design to cut by adjusting the horizontal and vertical offset. I'm going to return my offset to zero. Now there is an option to adjust the sizing here in cut plot, but our experience is that it's best to adjust the sizing in your design like we did earlier and then just plot at 100%. Here we can choose to make multiple copies if we need to but I just want the one. One more basic option that might be helpful here. See all of the blank space to the left of my design? By changing the orientation, I can make the same cut, but with a little less wasted vinyl. All right, I'm now ready to send up my cutter. I know that my R31 is powered on with a solid green online light. So I hit send and immediately hear the R31 doing its thing. We see up here the cut plot screen status monitor showing that it is cutting. and Production Manager will actually monitor the job's progress. There you go. When the job is done, check the quality and adjust accordingly. But be sure to pause and pat yourself on the back for completing your first cut.